the brain is taking in information from the environment and the cerebellum is not necessarily initiating movement. Basically, it's taking all of this input in and it's making decisions about how to move different muscles and bones and all of that, while also figuring out where your trunk is in space. And it takes into consideration like velocity and strength. And so your cerebellum is calculating what it thinks this is gonna weigh and how much force you need to put in your muscles in order to hold this. When you're grabbing something, you actually are moving all of these muscles. So you're moving, you're moving your shoulder, your elbow, your wrist, and so it coordinates all of these movements at the same time. And so when you don't have the cerebellum, you actually have to move this fir first, and then you might move that second, or you might, you know, it's all out of order. So everything's right. all discombobulated without the cerebellum. The cerebellum is basically just this very fine-tuned, it's almost like an equalizer. You know, it's right. making sure that everything is in balance 